This is Mr. Evil Tease. You're a dork. And that's Zombie Cat. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our review of the McFarlane Toys Color Top 7 Inch Michonne statue that they call an action figure. Oh, and just like the Rick figure, this Michonne figure was sent to me by Fu Manchu from Fu Reviews. So thanks, Fu. And there it is in the package. You can see it's color tops. This is the red wave. Woo! And this is number two, so there's eight of them. You gotta get them all. Even, even though there's not all Walking Dead figures, you gotta get them all. Every one of them. You gotta get the ones from shows and games that you never fucking had any interest in. No, if you're like Monk from the, you know, the show Monk. He might have to get all eight of them, because he's got that obsessive compulsive disorder, and he has to get all of them, I bet. But I doubt everybody's got that problem. So I don't think many people are going to buy figures they don't care about just so they have all the boxes with these numbers on it. But that's just me. I mean, I don't yeah, keep... Especially us, because we're just going to throw these boxes in the fucking trash. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Some of them might cut out the pictures. <laughs> but half the time they end up just in a pile of pictures that I don't do anything with. But that's a nice picture of there. She looks kind of worried there. Instead of pissed off like usual. Well, that's I think obvious. she looks pissed off and worried. I'm so pissed that I'm worried! <laughs> Why are you making me worry about you? You dick! And why they make me number two? That's the poop. <laughs> Rick's the piss. I'm the piss! Why am I the piss? I want to be the poop! I like poop! But uh, everybody will say I'm the shit! <laughs> oh, that's a good idea! <laughs> I want to be the shit! <laughs> okay, open time. So there she is, open up. And, as you can probably tell, the articulation on this is going to be completely pointless. Even more so than Rick's. Because at least you can move Rick's arms up and down and you can actually make him aim his gun. But there'd be absolutely no point in moving her arms or her legs. So, this is a statue with useless cuts that are useless. <laughs> That's why they're called useless cuts. Because of their completely uselessnesses. We were noticing it looks like her headband may have been glued on a little too high on this one. I think the headband, the hair is all one piece and it's just it's too far back. Yeah, they, it should be down a little further. But, that's probably the best likeness out of any of the figures they've made. Even out of, like, out of those statues. And I think this looks more like her than the statues do. I think it's pretty damn close in the face sculpt paint area. Mm hmm. And, uh. Well, you did point out the lips, though. They, they, they always paint her lips weird, and I don't like it. See, on the package, you can see that her lower lip, there's lots of pink. Her upper lip, it's all dark. And that's what they try to do. But they just made the upper lip, like, really solid black almost. Yeah, it's a black lip and a pink lip. You see, it's like that on this one, too. They always do it. I don't like it. It yeah. looks weird. And it's, it needs to be more subtle, I guess. But I do really think that looks like her face. Yeah, it does. And the rest of the body, even. Like, the sculpt of the body just looks like the uh, actress. The way she's shaped and everything. Did a really good job of sculpting these pants. The way they did things around the knee. Looks really awesome down around the boot area. But I, I never really noticed these new boots she has. Cause she used to have the ones with all the metal studs, but now she's got these ones, I guess, with the straps. I like the old ones better. Me too. These ones don't stand out as much. They're still cool, but they're not as cool as the other ones. Nope. And why does it look like she's wearing pants under her pants? It's like that on both of them. I don't know. They like got a little flap coming down out from underneath her pants. I mean, I'm guessing that's the way she is in the show. I just don't... Is that a type of pants? Or is she wearing pants over pants? What is going on there? <laughs> But that's really not the figure's fault, that's just how she's dressed on the show. Um, there's a belt. I'm guessing that's just, it looks like it's the same belt that she wore before. So it could be painted a little better. But those are a lot of little tiny dots, so I don't really blame them for not getting that very well. The vest looks really good, I think. Mm -hmm. They made it look real nice and leathery. It looks like it's been worn and everything. I like it. Really awesome job on that vest. Then, her shirt. I like the blood splatter there. Looks really cool. Nice fading of 
back there. And you were saying about her boobs and her shirt. It's just... It's just weird that the the shirt goes down so much in between her boobs. Because I, I have boobs and my shirts don't do that. Maybe she's sweaty and it's sticking. I don't know. It just looks weird. <laughs> but, uh... Well, like you were saying, it is a scan, a 3D scan, so it seems like that must have been how it was. Maybe she taped her boob, her shirt to her bra in between her boobs. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's her hair. Let's say could have did a better job on them. But they're alright. The sculpt on the hair is good. It's just the color of them is a little... Yeah, the paint's a little bit eh. Plus... You can tell even in the picture, the, the light part on her hair is all over, not just on the ends now. Yeah. Light coloring. I like the uh, bandana too. A nice design on there. Yeah, they did a good job painting it too. One thing I noticed though is it, if you look real close, it doesn't go all the way over. And it just kind of turns into hair color. Yeah. But you gotta look really close to see that. Also, the color of the, of the pants are really good. They look like that stone washed, is that what it's called? Look. Mm -hmm. That stone washed look to her pants, is that what it's called? Sort of, yeah. And then there's texture to it. This looks awesome. And then you can see the seams and everything. Looks really good. She didn't have her necklace on. She doesn't? Nope. Where's her necklace? Does she not wear it anymore, maybe? She has it on in the picture in the box. Well, damn, I don't know where her necklace is. Must have missed it. Maybe they're going to make it separate and change their mind. <laughs> but, now well, there you can see her gloves. Take this out of here. You can remove this, the katana from her hands for some reason. So she can stand there like that. <laughs> yeah. These are her gloves. But yeah, you take your katana out, then what, what is she doing now? <laughs> Look, hey, guys. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Um... Uh, Threatening to jack you off aggressively? Maybe. Or she's gonna <laughs> hadouken you. Hadouken! <laughs> Maybe she's gonna start punching herself in the face. Maybe. See, there's joints there so you can move her so arms. She can punch herself. So she can go sleep. Aww. I'm <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Yep. I'm gonna take an angry sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Rage neck! <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, why, why, why? Oh, and I love what happens back here when you move your arm. Look at Ooh, that, that lovely is, thing. Yeah, that looks pretty. <laughs> That's really useful articulation. <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> why did you make these joints? They do nothing. <laughs> so that they could write articulation on the box. Yeah. <laughs> 15 points of articulation. Which I don't think there's 15 on her, but. 15 points of ass fuckery. <laughs> That's what I should say. So, you could. I don't think you can move both arms while the sword's in there. So, I mean, you would think, well, you can move her sword up or down, but I don't think that'll work right. A tiny bit, yeah. That just looks stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Why would she hold it like that? That looks weird. I don't know. So, it's basically right there is about all you can do. No point in moving it any other way. Then you got this joint. Well, you can break her leg. <laughs> ah! Maybe you wanted to break her leg. Maybe that's part of your little wax figure thing you're doing. It's like, Michonne just got a leg broken. Look at it. Rick needs to save her now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. That's hot. <laughs> so, pointless articulation, pointless, pointless, pointless. No, right here isn't too bad. Well, yeah, it is. It looks bad that way. <laughs> um, and at the head, it doesn't. Ooh. Her hair is in the way. Yeah. You can still move it though. I was I tried earlier and couldn't get it to move. So if you can get her hair over her shoulder, you can actually move her head. So yeah, there. It looks stupid. That's one thing you can move, and it it actually works sort of. <laughs> Makes her hair stick out all weird though. Well, not if you go all the way. <laughs> She's like looking back, like, what am I stabbing into back here? I'm not sure. Is this my BO that I smell? I think it is. <laughs> so, 
for the most part, every point of articulation is useless. The head is slightly useful if you want to move her head, but it just doesn't look right when you do. So, yep, it's a statue with cuts in it. It's another no sugar-coated turd. Mm -hmm. I still like, like I said, I like the sculpt and the, the paint, so, I mean, I like having it, but I'd rather be an action figure. So here's a look at her Canada, as she says. <laughs> and That's what I say. <laughs> It's nice. Not super detailed. They got I think some of the ones the little ones had looked better. Uh, I don't know. Because they were pretty sloppy. But this one isn't really that great. It's okay. Well, there's some paint on there. See the paint on the little circle? Mm -hmm. A little guard or whatever that's called. Shouldn't be there. Well, there's silver up the handle, too. All over it. Oh, yeah, there shouldn't be silver up the handle. What the hell? I don't think they did a very good job. No, they didn't. And this is supposed to be silver on the end, but they got white paint over it. Bleh. Oh, she got a sheath, too. Where the hell did that go? And here's her sheath. Which is really bendy. And it looks like you can stick the katana in there, but you can't. It's a lie. You can only go down that far. <laughs> Well, it's, it's pointless to put it in there anyway, because then she's standing there like this. So, there's no real reason to put it in there. That's other. really not painted very well either. No, it's not. But, eh, let's put that on her. Okay, so there's her sheath on. You see it? You gotta tuck it down underneath her hair and everything. I got it underneath her jacket, because it just seems kind of funny when it's out in front of it. And there it is on her back. So I think that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not painted real good, but I mean, it looks good the way it is on her back. Yeah. Here's a comparison to the That's five That's probably inch. why her boobs are indented, because the strap holds it down. Oh, that does make sense. That's, yep, that's it probably why. Sense now. I bet she, uh, when they did the scan, she probably had this on. They probably had to edit it out and separate it. But, here she is next to the five inch. And the five inch has a lot better articulation. And this is one of the ones I thought was one of the better likenesses of the 5 inch. But I still think it's better on a 7 inch. And that's really just because it's bigger and it's easier to not lose details it's shrunk down. And even like the, the vest. The vest looks so much better on the bigger one. Yeah. The pants too. The pants look better. So, yeah, sculpt and paint are definitely better on a 7 inch, like by far. But this one's got awesome articulation. Well, not awesome, because it has that shitty hip articulation. Oh, it's all awesome compared to the big yeah, one. Yeah, it's awesome compared to this one. Because look at all that. You can get her in multiple sword poses. Or just have her stand there with the sword in her sheath. All kinds of options with this one. No options with this. I guess the only option is you can take her sheath off. Without make, I mean, the only option that doesn't look retarded is to take her sheath off. And even that... If you're really nitpicky, you'd see the weird thing in between her boobs to the foot. <laughs> <laughs> Most guys probably wouldn't even notice that. I didn't. But now that you said it, it makes sense. So there's Rick and Michonne next to each other. And the way these bases are, it's kind of like they're, they're both looking to the side. That's another thing. It's like when I have a base, I'd kind of want them facing like the direction that the base is facing. But they're facing to the side. So, it's kind of weird. It doesn't say their name on there either. Seems like they would have done that. I, do. Mm, I think they're probably going to make the same base for every toy. Yeah, probably. But, uh, I think they look cool together. Probably be better if Rick was pointing his gun, maybe. <laughs> so there. Now they're both in fight mode. Pow! Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> was I supposed to say something? You're supposed to say, I'm going to shoot you. Oh, rude. I forgot you're my friend. Your friend? Yeah. That's it? Oh, girlfriend. You're, you're my girlfriend. I forgot I'm about you. cut your dick off. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it happened so That's a good excuse. <laughs> I forgot you're my girlfriend. <laughs> Don't you forget sometimes? You're like, 
I'm single. Oh no, wait! I got a Rick. <laughs> I got a Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the 10-inch Michaud next to the 7-inch Michaud. See, it's quite a bit bigger. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a look at the face here. I think the face is actually a little better on the 7 inch. But like I said, this bandana and hair are pushed up a little bit. But as for the actual face part, I think I do like the 7 inch better. And part of it's because the paint, they really made her eyes look bloodshot on this 10 inch for some reason. The bandana's painted better, which makes sense. I think the dreads look a little better on the 10 inch. But uh, yeah, as for the face, I think I like the the seven inch a little better, and I definitely like the pose better on the seven inch because this pose is just awkward. The way she's got her legs, it's just weird. Okay, so if this is, if you just consider this a statue, a seven inch statue figure, it'd I be like pretty it. good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. But if you're calling it an action figure, it's mm. a sparkly, glittery turd. Yep. <laughs> no action that's any useful on this. Nope. But it is a cool statue. Well, this is Mitch BBT. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hey, Michonne, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. All right. Let's do it. All right. Jack a dick. 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 Is that everybody? Yep. We jack a dick, everyone. Ha 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 ha. let's go. Hey. I didn't get jack attacked, you bastards! Where's my jack attack? I want jack attacked! Ah, I hate you all! Padukin! 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 Oh damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat! Ooh.